Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, with the help of Green's theorem, we have to find the value of line integral. So this is a given line integral. So let us call it as i first. Okay. So we have, we have, what is the given line integral? i is equal to integration over c, e raised to 3x plus 2y dx plus x square plus sine y dy. So we have to find the value of this uh, line integral over c, where c is a rectangle having these four vertices. But we have to find its value using Green's theorem. So let us write the statement of Green's, Green's theorem first. Okay. So by Green's theorem. So Green's theorem, statement of Green's theorem is integration over c p dx plus q dy is equal to double integration over r daba q by daba x minus daba p by daba y dx dy. Okay, so this is our Green's theorem, right? So let us compare the given line integral with this left hand side. So easily we will have the p and q. So what is p? p is nothing but multiple of dx. Multiple of dx is this bracket. So yes, let us find p is equal to what? e raised to 3x plus 2y. And what is our q here? q is nothing but multiple of dy. So multiple of dy is this bracket. So this is our q. So this is x square plus sine y. After that, what we want to uh, see, we have to find the value of this double integration. We have to use Green's theorem to find the value of line integral. That means actually we solve this right hand side. So for that, we need to have daba q by daba x and daba p by daba y. So let us find their values. So what we do here, we find the derivative of p with respect to y. So as you know, if addition is there, we take separate separate derivatives. So derivative of the first term with respect to y, but y is not there. This is function of x only. So it's a constant and derivative of constant is zero. So this is zero plus so now we have to find the derivative of 2y, but see when you take derivative, 2 will come outside since it is a constant. 2 will come outside, that means simply we have to find the derivative of y, which is 1. So this is 1, so we get its 2, right? So let us go further, let us find the derivative of q with respect to x. We want the derivative of q with respect to x here. Again, we have an addition here, we can take separate separate derivatives. Derivative of x square is? 2x plus derivative of sine y with respect to x. There is no any x, so it's a constant and derivative of constant is 0, so it is 2x, right? So we got both partial derivatives. So now let us use Green's theorem to find its value, okay, value of this line integral. So then let me write here, then, then i is equal to, we have already called it as i, right? i is equal to this integration over c, uh, uh, c, let me write here, integration over c, what we have, e raised to 3x plus 2y dx plus x square plus sine y dy. So this is equal to, I'm going to use Green's theorem now, right? So the value of line integral is nothing but value of double integration over r with this one, getting? So using Green's theorem, I can write, this is nothing but double integration over r. Deba q by deba x, just now we have calculated and its value, we have got 2x, so let me write here 2x, right? And deba p by deba y, which is 2, so minus 2, and I should write here dx dy. Now we have to find the value of this double integration, okay? But for that, we should know the limits of that integral, getting? So we have to find the limits now. So let us try to understand what is a given r. So what have they mentioned? R C is a rectangle. Okay, C is a rectangle. R means what? R means the interior part of that rectangle. Okay, region bounded by that curve C. So R is also a rectangle with these four vertices. So let me mention here, here R is a rectangle with vertices, with vertices. Okay, what we have here? 2, 1. Okay. 6, 1, 6, 4, and 2, 4. Okay, so let us draw the diagram so we can easily understand it. Make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us draw the rectangle now. Okay, 
so we have a vertices 2 comma 1 okay on x axis 2 y axis 1 so the first point is here right 2 comma 1 let me write 2 comma 1 next is 6 comma 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 comma 1 will be here next vertex is 6 comma 4 so on y axis we have a 4 now so it will be here right 6 comma 4 and a 4 2 comma 4 so 2 comma 4 it will be here so let me join them let me join them so this is a rectangle we have okay so c is the boundary of that rectangle and r is a region which is bounded by that closed curve c so this is a region r we have right let me show here this is r so the this rectangle is bounded by these four lines so let me write the equations of those lines this is a line parallel to x axis passes through uh, x is a y is equal to 1 you can easily see so its equation is y is equal to 1 this is a line again which is parallel to x axis passes through y is equal to 4 so its equation will be y is equal to 4 this is a line you, you can see here which is parallel to y axis passes through x is equal to 2 so its equation will be x is equal to 2 similarly its equation will be x is equal to 6 so yes we got the equations of all four lines okay so we have to find the limits of that double integration for that we need to draw one strip here so normally we draw a strip parallel to y axis i will do the same thing here i consider a strip parallel to y axis okay so this is the strip uh, we are considering which is parallel to y axis so let me mention here consider consider a strip a strip parallel to y axis okay so when we have a strip parallel to y axis what we do we follow one funda that is we consider strip is bounded below bounded above then we move strip from left to right okay so therefore yeah i will apply the same logic bounded below as you can see the strip is bounded below by this line whose equation is y is equal to 1 and strip is bounded above by this line whose equation is y is equal to 4 so now we have to move straight from left to right okay from left to right so at left okay it will start at this line whose equation is x is equal to 2 and see it will move like this and it will go up to this line it will stop here the equation of that line is x is equal to 6 so the limits of x will be 2 to 6 so in this way we got the limits of x and y so let us solve that double integration now so therefore i is equal to right double integration see our strip is parallel to y axis so that's why the inner integration with respect to y having limits 1 to 4 and the outer integration with respect to x having limits 2 to 6 so let me write a function here what we have 2x minus 2 dy dx i am writing dy dx since our strip is parallel to y axis right so let us solve this double integration so the inner integration with respect to y so 2x minus 2 is constant we can take it outside so this is equal to integration 2 to 6 that 2x minus 2 constant will come outside integration 1 to 4 dy dx okay i took it outside since it is a constant we are integrating with respect to y so integration of dy is y as you know okay so let me write here somewhere we have some space let us use i hope we will get answer here so this is equal to integration 2 to 6 2x minus 2 we have and integration of dy is y 1 to 4 dx so let us put upper limit lower limit 2 to 6 2x minus 2 i am putting upper limit 4 putting lower limit 1 dx so 4 minus 1 is which is 3 so 3 is constant we can take it outside so see we want some more space to write i'm going to remove this part make a screenshot of it then i will go further so as i told you its value is 3 so constant let us take it outside 3 integration 2 to 6 2x minus 2 dx so as you know if addition subtraction is there we can take separate separate integration getting so here also i will do the same this is equal to 3 see 2 is a constant don't consider it you can when you solve the integration if there is any constant you take it outside so that's why i do not consider uh, 2 simply let us take the integration of x which is x square by 2 so its integration is x square by 2 minus 2 is a constant will be as it is integration of dx is 
x 2 to 6. Let us simplify it first, then I will put the upper and lower limits 3. 2 2 will get cancelled x square minus 2x 2 to 6. I am going to put the upper limit first. Okay, I am going to put 6 first. 6 square is 36 minus 6 into 2 12 will have minus. I am going to put a lower limit now 2. 2 square is 4 minus 2 into 2 4. So we can easily see 4 4 cancel, right? So simply we have to work on just first bracket only. So 3 into so 36 into minus 12 it will be 24 and the product will be 72 so this is a required answer this is a uh, required value of that line integral okay so the problem is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye